Time to look at the things I missed and answer some of your questions about my theory on Gravity Falls. I'll explain why it is possible Bill could have in fact left Gravity Falls. But keep in mind, this will contain spoilers. First of all, I do want to say thank you guys for the support on this particular video as it's getting pretty close to 300,000 views. That, that is pretty insane. That's almost getting close to my third most viewed video. So thank you guys. It's amazing. I do actually recommend watching that first if you haven't because this is kind of a follow-up to it and it will probably not make too much sense otherwise. So if you just want to pause this, watch the other video, then come back and yeah, you'll be pretty much caught up. But yeah, ever since I made it, I've been happy to answer your questions in the comments, but since I've been getting a lot more than I was anticipating, it's a little hard to answer them all. So I thought why not make a video where I respond to the most common asked questions and most common comments that I I see on the video. Yeah, sounds good. Let's get on to it. The first one seems to be the debate whether or not Bill said Axolotl or Zolotl in the reverse message. I, I forgot how to pronounce it. While these two names are very similar, as there's pretty much just an A missing on one of them, both are two very different things. An Axolotl is a salamander who lives in water and is actually able to regenerate limbs. That's right, regenerate limbs all by itself. Doesn't need any help from a doctor or anything like that. It just does it all on its own. So yeah, that's pretty much all you can say about an Axolotl. But let's move now on to the Zolodol. This is actually an Aztec god and the twin of Kezakwedl... Kezakwetl? Is that it? I... Oh, these names are so complicated for me. But yeah, he's the twin of this guy and is not very well known as much as his actual twin. Huh. Twins. Interesting. His job is actually to lead you to the underworld when you die. Because when you die, you kind of have to make your own way there, apparently. Zolotl, however, helps you out and uses lightning and the evening star, Venus, to guide you there. So yeah, Zolotl is pretty much your sat-nav for when you die. It's also said he actually guides the sun into the underworld every night, and that was their reason for why it went dark every 12 hours or so. So now the question is, which one was Bill saying? Some people have said that the letter A was just a scream, which is why they came to the conclusion that it was Zolotl he was talking about. Well, having looked at it further, it was in fact Axolotl. And if you wait right there a second, let me explain why. Not too long ago, Alex Hirsch hosted a Reddit Q&A for Gravity Falls, and if anyone asked about spoilers, he would reply to them with a picture of an Axolotl. Not only that, in Stan's house, you can actually see a pet Axolotl just behind Stan's chair. The time I actually saw that was in the pilot episode. And if you still don't believe me, how about this? Axolotl is the actual word you use to decode the message, Goodbye Gravity Falls, in the final episode. While it would be cool if Bill was talking about the Aztec god, unfortunately, all the evidence points towards the Axolotl. I know it has been said that this creature was named after the god, but there's actually a few different translations for the name. For example, one of them is actually Water Dog. Another comment was saying that Bill couldn't leave Gravity Falls for thousands of years and that he knew. This doesn't make much sense to me as he only discovered he couldn't leave Gravity Falls in episode 18 of season 2, when his friends could only go so far before getting blocked by the giant bubble. If he really knew about this, then why would he freeze Ford to only unfreeze him later to ask about the situation? The reason I came to the conclusion that it was Bill's body that was stopping him from leaving, well, his physical form, was because he didn't have it until episode 18 in season 2, when we see him make it right in front of us. He says, physical form, don't mind if I do. Physical form, don't mind if I do! Ever since then, he's been having trouble getting out of Gravity Falls. But we see him leave that physical form behind before he enters Stan's mind. So if we go by my theory that he is in fact hiding in Stan's mind, he made it out of Gravity Falls, as we see Ford and Stan on a boat together heading towards the anomalies relating to Weird Mageddon. All Bill needs to do is sit back and wait until they arrive as they'll take him straight to the anomalies. And yes, that is a picture of Bill Cipher ordering pizza from Pymation's 
animation. People have also said if he really has survived then he wouldn't be able to do anything in Stan's mind. He wouldn't be able to take control of Stanley and his actual physical form is still in Gravity Falls. Well, the deal he made with Stan was the exact same one he made with Ford 30 years ago. And in episode 15, we get the impression that this deal allowed Bill to control Ford's body. Dipper also thought this too, leading me to believe that he could very well take over Stan's body too. As for Bill's physical form trapped in Gravity Falls, who's to say he can't make a new one? We saw him do that at the very start of Weird Mageddon. So it's very possible he could do it again. Also, I just want to play this clip that was sent to me by one of you guys. You sent it from the Gravity Falls YouTube channel, which I think would be funny to add to this theory. Well, 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 Stan Pine. Do I know you? I'm sure I'm in your memory somewhere. That just took me by surprise. I didn't... It's just the way he said it. I also do want to point out that it does appear the Bill statue at the end of the episode is actually out there somewhere, as there are clues in the episode to it being a possibility. No pun intended. But I honestly have no idea if anyone's found it yet. And there's one last thing that people have been mentioning about my Rick and Morty and Gravity Falls crossover theory. People have pointed out in the second to last episode of Rick and Morty, you can see a picture of Bill Sighter, Sighter, Sighter? cipher in the corner of the screen on this computer. And not only that, someone sent me a link to the Warp to Prison Processing's Instagram, which was made to show a bunch of pictures when put together makes one big map of the prison in the finale of season two for Rick and Morty. Which is pretty cool because you can see everyone walking about, you can see all the prison rooms. But if you pay close attention to these particular pictures here, you will find that there is a drawer with a cup, pen and notepad that fell through the portal in one of the episodes from Gravity Falls. And in the picture above, you see that someone has been paying a close attention to Bill on the monitor. It's pretty interesting how all these Easter eggs are Bill related, and I did say that it would be Bill that would make the appearance in Rick and Morty if it ever happened. Ah, oh, I think that's a great way to end it. I also want to say thanks to everyone who posted their own theories on this, such as Bill is not in Stan's head but in the statue and slowly regenerating, or the fact that he'll only come back if Stan remembers his name, or that he'll only come back that if someone shakes the statue's hand. Some really cool theories and I really love reading them, so thanks to everyone for commenting and showing the support on these videos. If you have any more theories then feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and don't pull a Picard. Now that that's over, let's give a little bit of a shout out and spread the love to another theorist who likes to do stuff on Gravity Falls. The Looney Turtle, who actually made a video not too long ago, around the same time as when I made my Gravity Falls theory, about the Bill Cipher statue. I recommend you check it out, because it's pretty awesome. If you are actually interested in hearing about the statue, and where it could possibly be, if you feel like going on a treasure hunt, then check out that video. Thanks for all your support, guys. Stay safe, and don't pull a Picard.